Okay, the next thing in line is the idler gear. This is for Peter's transmission. His is broken. I have this one, one of my spare parts. So I hung this bearing up here in front of this halogen light to let it warm up for a while. Well, that's warming up. We're going to go put this one in the freezer. Put this bearing on and make sure that the ring is on the top. set it up in the press. After I got it started I finished it up here. Install snap ring. Okay snap ring is installed and this bearing you notice doesn't have any shields. That's the way it came in the kit. It's a 6306N. If it had an N followed by an R, NR, then it would have the seals but evidently it's not required to have the seals and actually this bearing might get more oil if there's no no seals when this bearing goes it wrecks the entire trans you know it wrecks this gear and the gear that attached to it so it wrecks a lot of gears so this is probably the most important bearing to replace on these transmissions this is the main idle gear now what I did is I clamped the bearing, put up a dial indicator to it, wiggle it back and forth, see how much, uh, it's, what the extreme movement is. I said at zero, we're looking at 10, 20, 30, 40, up to 43, 45, almost uh, 49, 48. That's like one of the worst ones I've ever seen. On a brand new bearing, the movement is only about 0 0.01. This is uh, 0 0.06 or 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 0 0.45, all the way up to 0 0.48. So, even though the bearing felt real good, it's got a lot of movement to it. But you know, sometimes you get these. Like this is a movement right in this one spot, but if I change the location of this, say over pointing in here, it'll be a little bit tighter. It's kind of weird. I don't really understand why that is. If I rotate this around about 90 degrees. You know, the movement's only about 20 thousandths. Kind of odd, it just depends on where you have it. Getting up to about 25. Now it's moving 40, 45. So, I guess it's a bad bearing, that much movement, but who knows how long it would have lasted in the car. It lasted a long time. This is what I was just working on. I clamped that bearing and the vise down there. It's the idle gear. We're not going to reuse this gear because there's one chipped tooth. If you can see it there, right there. And then the number of teeth and the diameter of this gear is different on the 87, 88 models. The earlier models, this is a bigger gear with more teeth on it. This gear is the same diameter, same teeth through all years. This is called your main idle. This is for reverse.